Hi, My name is Coaches, and uh, welcome to Event Seven, which is now going to be archery. You may remember our 50 subscriber special um, video where we talked about the teacher period for long time. But we recently reached 60 subscribers, and we decided that then we should make a video for um, a, an event that people like and realize it's archery. Now I've read a bunch of seasons at home of the Marble League, uh, eight different seasons on camera just as well. Um, about maybe like a month before our first uh, marble racing YouTube video, but then I decided to give archery a shot. So before we go over them, let's see who will be running for each of the teams. I am standing right here. Actually, I just fell down because I'm very uncoordinated as a marble. We have Pride of the White Wolves, Bolt of the Thunderbolts, Aqua of the Oceanics, Slime Lime of the Limers, Captain Foggy of the Hazers, Captain Coffee of the Java Chunks, Red Eye of the Crazy Cat Size, Yella of Mellow Yellow, Go Go of the Indigo Stars, Minty Drizzle of the Minty Maniac, Shelly of the Turtle Sliders, Mimo of Team Momo, Captain Sparkle of the Shining Swarm, Royal of the Cobalts, then Captain Glacier of the Glying Glaciers, and last but not least, actually holds the current event record at 70 for the event. This walks into bumblebees. And here is our archery course. You have your course sector, and you run down. You try to hit one of these targets to go here. I'm not going to make that much of a fool of myself because in gym, uh, hey, I can get a bullseye. It'll be on somebody else's target. Um, I mean, I'm not great at archery. Let's see how we do in marble form on the marble run track. Oh boy, look at me. I just fell down. Well, that's me as a marble, and that's also me. I barely score sometimes, but that's how I do it. I hope the competitors beat me, and we're ready to go with the heats. But before the race, let's take a look at our fans here. And then um, in one of the descriptions of one of our recent videos, we said that if you would like to... Um, yeah, Marble, you can tell us some discussion if we see it. Well, we actually saw something from, I think it was Coolio Singvi. He said he would like to be this Hazel fan right here. We actually saw that a long time ago, but this track in the video took a little bit longer to make. So, shout out to you if you want to do it. Um, just go to our discussion and tell us what kind of marble you would like to do. Um, maybe make it a quarter marble, because I, I don't know, because it's a little bit less work for us that. Maybe you can make it what, what type of, uh, whatever marble you want in the fan stance. And if we see it and we know which one it is, we'll shout you out in the video. And now, it's a heat. First up, Pride of the White Wolves in 3, 2, 1, go. We can score on his first run. And, oh, it rolled back to the 10. And now, Second one for pride and three, two, one, go. Down the course A sector and now down the ramp. It's gonna score 40. And now the final thing that pride will do in three, two, one, go. Oh, he's gonna miss. So pride will end up with a fifth. Next up, we will have bolts in three, two, one, go. Bolt was his first run due. Now into the course A section, go to the He's gonna score 50. That ties the White Wolves already. Now Bolt's second turn and three, two, one, go. He's just the Queer City Sector. Now it's the rip. And what's that gonna be? That's a super high score. And Bolt will have the record. Uh, let me look at that. We'll check it later, but Bolt has the record. He's a 110 or 130. That's high. It's now Bolt's final run. Can he better the record? Let's see. It's three, two, one, go. It's down the course A sector. You will. So now you look at that. You have your 50. What's that going to be on? What the judges will then call that a 10. This one. Like, I can't really tell. They're calling it an 80. Which puts Bull at a 140, doubling the previous record. Now, next up, our championship leaders have Aqua representing them. His first one, what will it be? In 3, 2, 1, go. A 10. Now, his second run, 
In three, two, one, go. This down and it's gonna be 50. Putting Aqua at 60 was one more ball left. And now, Aqua's final run in three, two, one, go. It's in the Crusade sector. And he's gonna at least score a 10, but they will not be winning this event at an 80. It is gonna be the old record though. Now our force runner, Slime Life to Libraries. First one for him in three, two, one, go. To down the road, now we score 10. The owl, he actually shot two arrows at once and that counts. Um, that was like the same mistake as the late wolves. So unfortunately he has one arrow left and two tries to score with it. So Max can get is 110, because I mean, it's kind of going to be impossible to move it up. Plus it's slightly slanted, so it's going to go down. So I don't think the Limers will be winning this event. Do you need the biggest of miracles to do so? The second run for Slime Lime, he does have um, two tries to hit one of the balls. What do we will do on the second try? If he hits the ball, there's no extra. He's going to show just a 20 overall, that puts him in last. In traditional Limers fashion, he cannot even meddle provisionally. That's just sad for Limers. Our fifth team up is the Hazers, Captain Foggy. Will he do on his first roll? Let's find out in three, two, one, go. Who's gonna knock the block down and score a 50? Now for a second roll in three, two, one, go. A 50 and is that on the bullseye? Uh, let's see. We'll check right after the fact. So it's a judge's check, and I believe it's a 60. But what will Foggy do in his final run? A slower stuff and picks up the speed. And he's gonna score 20. Oh, no, a 10, I'm sorry. A 50. And ooh. I believe that actually maybe shifted somewhere or we just checked wrong. Um, I'm not great at checking it, but I think that is a bullseye. Oh, sorry if it's the wrong call. I just believe it is. Now your sixth runner will be Coffee of the Travel Junk as the captain in 3, 2, 1, go. What will he score in the, on the first one? I'm gonna miss, actually. No, they're not. You shoot two on one and you have a score of 60. So now the second and Potentially final run for the job chunks. Let's see what happens. It's three, two, one, go. Coffee. Should we down? Try to score 40. Say break 100. And provisionally in third. Our seventh runner up will be Red Eye after Crazy Cat's Eyes. First one for him and three, two, one, go. And we're going to score 10. Now the second one for Red Eye and three, two, one, go. Him, that's going to be a very, very poor Ted. It's down to the final one. Red Eye has decided to change shit forms. Let's see if it has yeah, done anything for him to better his 20 score. Three, two, one, go. No, just going to put him at 10. He only beats Sly Line. And now our East team up is Yella of Melly Yellow. Let's see what happens in the first one. 10. And now, attempt two. Three, two, one, go. Can we do? Let's go all three, but they're all on ten. So we'll have our first tiebreaker that will be needed. It will be yellow versus red eye. But both will not be for, even for a podium position. Now we have go, go. Let's see what he does in match. Well, um, in his match, which is attempt one. Let's see if the best match we can start so far. And... He can help things with a 50. What can he do to better his score in his second one? Let's see. He's going to launch both of them down. They both end up on the 10. It puts him at 70, so a max of fifth. That is where he finished the first time. His first run was good, but his second one, he made a similar mistake to Yella and Sublime in a few others, unfortunately. Now we're ninth, or uh, I'm sorry, 10 team up. 
Soon to be in the exercise mini drizzle. Let's see if we can do a match one in three, two, one, go. So we put down the Corsair Sector. You can launch it to, I believe, 40. Yes. Now the second attempt for Petit Drizzle in three, two, one, go. Ooh, one gets knocked back to the 40, uh, from the 40 to the 10, but one goes up to 50, so they gain 20 points despite one dropping. So the final run for the Minty Maniacs. What will Minty Drizzle do? Another one, so let's go to Tives and go Stars. So we have our second tiebreaker set. Unfortunately for Drizzle, he could not get past that. Had stayed on the 40 and landed on the 50, he'd be at 100. But that would tie the job chunks. Next up, we have Team Snipes and Turtle Sires. They have shown that they could use the finish. It will be helped by a provisional 40, but he's not to go on 60, but 40 is still good. Now, run two for Shelly. Can she better her score so far? He's going to launch all down. And where did they land? A 50, a 50, and a 40. And that puts them up in the second place, tied with the Thunder. It's now Mimo, Team Mobo. Do you want to get a medal for the team so far? You have to make impact. That's going to be on the 60. Good job by Mimo. The only thing about it is it has a chance of falling back for that as well on the 60. Now run two for Mimo. Let's see what will happen when he makes contact with that. Ooh, makes the same thing as the two sliders. Oh, one is inside the 60, one is on the 50, and one is on the 40. What's that still on the 60? Um, I'm gonna look at it both uh, camera and my view. So it still is slightly, I think, on the 60. Now it's at 150 and up in the second. Now we have Team, I'm sorry, um, Shining Swarms, Captain Sparkle. Let's see what Sparkle can do. That will be on the 40. Now round two for Sparkle. Ooh, that will be on the 10. And now the final run for Shining Swarm. Just be a 60 overall. So will not podium, not get past teams like the Ingo Stars or Minty Mania. And now we have Royal of the Cobalts. He is an ultimate runner. Uh, he's not medaled previously. And a 40 shows some promise. Now run two for Royal. Two, that's a big championship. He would knock them all down. 30, a 40, and a 50. See, a lot of teams doing it strategy, and it puts them at bow. Just the 120, they will not be podiuming, but we have Captain Glacier of the Klein Glacier, Splot Bet Rudder. What can he do? Oh a 10, actually, I said it missed, but everyone else just to block. Now, next up we have Captain Glacier, um, second round for Captain Glacier. Or just Glacier, but another 10. So the final run for Captain Glacier. Which was the captain in a 40, it's about a 60, and that ties him with Shining Swarm. And now, potentially the previous title record, but um, the Bumblebees, Swox, who used to own the record, now right now belongs to Foggy. What can Swox do? His first take on it, a 40. Now, second run for Swox. A 60. And now our final run before any tie breaks. What will Swox do? Swox goes down and scores a 60. A 160 ties for first. So we're going to have a little bit of tie breaks. Actually, let's just straight, get straight into it. So here we have our standings. Oh, no, I'm not in the front. I just pretended like I was. It's so basically Confessor all for a new record setters and ties. So the ones who tied it were Goku of the Indigo Stars, and she drew Rizzle of the Minty Maniacs. The ones who beat it were Aqua of the Oceanics, Captain Kafka of the Java Chunks, Royal of the Cobalts, then Bolt of the Thunderbolts, Shelly of the Turtle Sliders, Mimo of Team Momo, Captain Foggy of the Haters, and Swox of the Bumblebees. So, but... The haters and bumblebees hold the record, so everyone wants a tiger cover that. We'll get it. So 16th goes to slime line. So now 
but don't have a type, a type of finisher for fortunes. Crazy cat's eyes with red eye. But when you score one run, you get to choose your type break. But you're going to score two, a 60 and a 50. It's a 110. If you did that in a real thing, it'd be higher. And now, yellow of mellow yellow. I mean, yellow of mellow yellow. What can yellow do? This would be a 40, so crazy cat's eyes win that type. So then, congratulations to our 15th place, Mellow Yellow, and our 14th place, White Wolves. And now, our 13th place is, I mean, 13th place, Crazy Cat Days. 12th place will go to the White Wolves. Battle for 11th and 12th is not over. We have Glying Glaciers versus Shining Swarm. Captain Glacier and Captain Sparkle. Let's see what Sparkle will do. A 50. It will be a 50 for Shining Sword, but what will it be for the Gliding Glaciers? So now we have our Battle for Nights after Shining Sword and Gliding Glaciers battle it out. The Shining Swarm one. We have Minty Drizzle and Go Go. Go Go will go up first. Okay, he's ready to go. And what will he score? Just a 10. And now we have um, Minty Drizzle up. You do for Minty Maniacs. A 40. Congratulations to the Minty Maniacs for winning the tiebreaker for ninth. The eighth will be Oceanics. Seventh is the Java Chunks. And sixth is the Cobalts. And these two scored over 100. But us two that also scored over 100 are Bolt and Shelly. And they'll juke it out for fourth. Shelly first. And I believe that's up. And now Bolt is up. And a 50 will win the tiebreaker for force. So congratulations to the Thunderbolts for winning the fourth and fifth place tiebreaker. And third place will be Team Momo's meme with grabs and nuts bronze. But for the final, it will be all, all three targets um, in three attempts must be shot. And um, in your three attempts, it won't just be one. Let's start off with Captain Foggy. What does he do on his first attempt? And now, um, attempt two for Foggy. Will that be a 60? I believe it is. And now Captain Foggy's final attempt. What will he do? That would be a 40 plus a 60 plus a 50. 150 almost matches the score from the first round. But will it be enough to beat Swox? Let's fight. Now we have Swox. What will Swox do on his first attempt? Oh, it's rolled back to 50. You can even land on the bullseye or 60 or 70, but it's a 50. Now Swalk's his second attempt. And it's also going to be on the 50, so 100. So 50 and Bumblebee's tie. Less than 50, Hazers win. And more than 50 and Bumblebee's win. It opens out. Now Swalk's puts the 50 right on him. And it rolls back, except it had four momentum. And as on the 40, instead of rolls back to the 10, and the Bumblebee's will play silver. Which is the only battle they have not gotten um, prior to this, but the Hazer. And here we are going to go to our recap and podium ceremony of Event 7 Archery. The back, we had Slime Line with the Limers once again being slow. If you're mid pack finishers, like Oceanics or Two Maniacs, Two Stars, and then you'll head up to our f fourth place Bolt of the Thunderbolts. Third place. Mimo of Team Momo. Second place and lost in the tiebreak around Swox of the Bumblebees. And also holding a record at 160. And your gold medalist of this event, Foggy of the Hazers. Captain, thanks, Ashley, for competing. And thank you for watching. Event 8 is once again undecided because we have five events we could do a water race, maze, slalom. Then you also have the one that we were going to do originally long jump. And one more stages have not entirely specified yet. It's on the tip of my tongue. Um, if you remember, I'll see it in the notebook recap. But there you have your podium ceremony. 
And now it's time for events, the notebook recap of event 7, Archery. It says, Fog, you have to hate your take this top spot with swaks of the bumblebees coming, and then Team Mimo of Team Momo, then Bolt of the Ton of the Thunderbolts, Shelly of the Turtle Sliders, Royal of the Cobalts, Captain Coffee of the Java Chunks, Aqua of the Oceanics, Minty Drizzle of the Minty Maniacs, and Gogo of the Indigo Stars to round up the top 10. But look at last. The Lime Roots can finish the last again. I've scored one point in the last three events. Well, that includes this one. The Eurobeat Master, though, did what the Eurobeat Master would do. And you see those all those points, which then would bring us. Sorry for zooming, zooming out. I'm just, I'm just trying to have a little bit of fun. To our overall standings after event seven. Hazers take over the top spot. We have four points over the Bumblebees. The Cobalts and Oceanics are still in the fight, along with Thunderbolts and Minty Maniacs. Team Momo, Turtle Sliders, who jump a spot compared to the Glying Gla uh, ahead of the White Wolves and Glying Glaciers, Crazy Cat's Eyes, and Shaggy Swarm Climb, Mellow Yellow. Some Java Chunks, Inca Stars, and Limers are in last. Some of these point differentials are um, relatively big. Let's look at them. So between, um, it's a little bit unclear, so I'll post it in the description. Bumblebees and Cobalt is now 10 points. Then you have between Team Momo and Turtle Sliders is 20 points. Between Limers and Inco Stars is 13. Those are the biggest point differentials. But what will happen in the next event? Well, first of all, what will be the next event? Also, the event I forgot was Decision, along with May, Solomon, Water Brace, and Long Jump. Long Jump, I think, is most likely to be it. But we'll find out at the time of the event. Thank you for watching our Marble League Event 7 and our 50 and our 60 subscriber special because I don't want to do it separately. I will post more content in the future as Marble Races, other videos, and the Marble League, of course. And thank you for competing and thank you for watching. I'm Cole Jasingvi, checking out.